Now we discuss the orthogonality of associated Legendre function. So let me write here the orthogonality. Orthogonality of associated of associated legendary function. So if we consider two associated legendary functions, then they are to be orthogonal to each other. Let me write the associated legendary equation in this form that d over dx 1 minus x square dp over dx and now for p I will write the plm but first let me write this one m square over 1 minus x square pl so p of x and this one I write also P of X and equal to and I left it here and I will move this one the other side so it will be minus L into L plus 1 P of X. Now I will have to write the L and M here, so this will be P L and here we will have M. Here I am having L and M, and similarly here we will write L and M. So this way we have written the associated legendary function with its solution P L M of X. And now if I look at this one, then it seems that this portion that I have like PLM of X here and PLM of X here so I can write this one is this whole means this is on it so from here to here, it is operated on PLM of X and it gives this eigenvalue which is minus L into L plus 1. So this is an operator. This is an operator which operates on this function and it gives this an eigenvalue. So, this is an eigen operator. So, I will call this is a Hermitian operator, or we call this is a self adjoint operator. A self adjoint operator. We can also call this Hermitian operator because the eigenvalues of this will be the real values. So, this is a self-adjoint operator and this is the eigenvalue. So, it is an eigenvalue operator and we will, we will write now that when it's a self-adjoint operator, we have proved in earlier lectures that for a self-adjoint operator, which we call a Hermitian operator, the eigenvalues will be real and they will be positive. So the positive and real values 
and any this function these the eigen functions here this i call is the eigen function so the eigen functions are then when it satisfies this equation then the eigen functions we call they they will be the eigen functions will be will be orthonormal so they will satisfy the orthonormality conditions and we can write their orthonormality that from minus 1 to plus 1 dx then pl m of x into p l prime m of x is equal to a l m and delta l l prime this is the chronicle delta when l will be equal to l prime we will have this thing equal to 1 and when l will not be equal to l prime then we will have this thing equal to 0 and this is the orthonormality while a m is the constant is the normalization constant of p l m this function so this normalization constant we will have to determine now this equation we wrote in terms of the ln means the eigenvalue is coming out in terms of l so the orthonormality condition we wrote in terms of the delta function which is dependent on l and not on m so this normalization constant ln we will have to determine while if we write the same equation in terms of another eigenvalue which is m then i can write that d over dx x squared 1 minus x squared and d p l m of x by d x and then i move m on that side and i put l here so plus l into l plus 1 and p l m of x equals m square over 1 minus x square and p l m of x now here in this equation this is now in this equation we are having this is our eigen this is our operator or this is our self adjoint operator this one is our eigen function this is our eigen function while this is our eigen value and this one we call is this is part of our function so this we call is the weight function so this is our weight function now the equation is the eigenvalue is now based on m so we can say that now the orthonormality condition in terms of this one the in terms of m with delta mm i can write that from minus 1 
to plus 1 and dx then it will be plm of x plm of x and pl m prime because now the orthonormality is on m m prime of x dx will be equal to another constant call this b m ln b ln and delta m m prime so we will have to determine now the constant b l m in order to satisfy the orthonormality now here p l m m and m prime when m will be equal to m prime then we will have this thing equal to 1 and this will be normalized provided we find this one while when m will not be equal to m prime we will have 0 there now don't forget to write the weight function here because this weight function is extra compared to this one this is eigenvalue divided by no weight function so we will have to write the weight function here which is 1 minus x square so the weight function will be there and we will have to find out the values of the constant these are the normalization constant when we find the normalization constant here then this will be normalized when l will be equal to l prime on this side we will have one then r zero there now a little bit of algebraic work will actually help us to find will help us to find the ALM and the BLM so let me write this is assignment 3 and assignment 3 is assignment 3 and assignment 3 is find the values find the values of ALM and BLM the constants of normalization such that let me write for the ALM ALM will be equal to 2 over 2L plus 1 L plus M whole factorial and L minus M whole factorial and similarly find the value of BLM as well but let me uh, help you in solving this assignment the two books one by D, uh, by the judge Ockham and the other book by Bose the Ockham and Bose books judge Ockham mathematical methods of physics and the mathematical methods of physics by Bose these two books will help you in solving all these assignments and any assignment which will come on its way so finally we can write that combining the ALM and the BLM I can write that integral from minus 1 to plus 1 dx p l m of x with p l p l 
prime m o x is equal to as we found the constant 2 over 2 l plus 1 l plus m factorial by l minus m factorial and delta l l prime so in the same way when we will find dlm then we will write here one more expand m and m prime and the constant here and then delta m m prime so this way we will be able to find the orthonormality of the associated Legendre function as well. The orthonormality for the PL of X, which was the Legendre polynomial or Legendre function, we have already discussed in the previous lectures.